All right, so let's tackle uh, this little weed here. This is Lamium, Lamium, Purpureum, Lamium, Purpureum, otherwise known as purple, all right, so commonly known as purple dead nettle, or uh, I think purple henbit, or maybe that's just in Plexicolis is called henbit. Um, I'm not sure about the common names, but it, it's called dead nettle because it looks like a nettle. It's not a nettle. It's in the Lamiaceae, the mint family, not the Urticaceae, the nettle family. Um, so it's not going to have stinging hairs or anything. I think that's where the dead comes from because it's not a nettle. Like other flower or plants in the Lamiaceae, the mint family, it's going to have a square stem. So you can see that here. It's got a square stem. It has opposite leaves. Uh, plants within the Lamiaceae have opposite leaves, sometimes whorled. That means that they more than one on a node or more than two on a node, sometimes three plus. Um, but opposite uh, square stems, the zygomorphic flowers. So these flowers that are bilaterally symmetric, bilaterally symmetric. Um, so zygomorphic, zygomorphic, there's a good word for you. Uh, this is also known to be uh, edible. The young leaves especially have kind of a peppery flavor to them. Um, I have tried and munched some of them. I've never cooked with them or put them in a salad. Uh, but there is the dead nettle tea as well. Purple dead nettle tea or red dead nettle, I think are some of the common names. You just dry the leaves. Again, younger leaves, probably better. Don't eat things that have been pesticide sometimes so this is um, non-native here in North America it's Eurasian it's very weedy I mean sometimes you can drive by an old ag field or an ag field and it's just purple with this it's pretty beautiful um, it, it's very variable in how it looks uh, in its growth um, so sometimes it's tall sometimes it's short but a couple things to note as we go down the stem here I picked some of these well I'll show you the habit in a, in a bit uh, they're opposite leaves, right? But they're going to have these long pedicels, these long pedicels here, these stal leaf stalks. Look at these leaves, kind of ovate shaped, chordate, which is heart shaped leaves there with these kind of wavy, rugose uh, leaves, wavy margins, toothed, a little bit of hair here, especially when you start getting up into these bract like leaves. Uh, and we'll take a, again, a closer look at these flowers here in a minute. It's an annual. Uh, it's an annual, so um, it shows up early, right after the winter, um, and then it dies after the year's over. Uh, and one thing to note, this is often confused with another weedy annual uh, that's probably in your lawn, um, which is hem henbit, uh, lamium and plexicollis. And I have, that was growing right next to each other, and I got to look actually to see where I put that. So this is lamium and plexicollis. Plexicollis and and plexicolis means clasping the stem. So uh, collis is stem, I guess, and this is like clasping the stem. Uh, so this is different than purple uh, dead nettle, but this is going to have sessile leaves, so they're clasping. See how they're, and then they have reniform shaped leaves as well. And we'll maybe do a video on this once it's in flower. I have this in my yard as well. Um, it's Flowers are going to be more ascending and with elongated corollas. And we'll talk about what all that means here in a second. As we can look here in the inflorescence, one thing about the Lamiaceae, the mints, is the inflorescence are in these whorls. They're in these whorls along the stem. And one way that this is separated from some other Lamiums like Elbum is that these flowers are gonna be smaller. They're gonna be usually under 15 um, millimeters, but I think 20 or 19 is oftentimes seen as a cutoff where things like uh, Lamium album, which is going to have white flowers, bigger white flowers, is over 20 uh, millimeters long oftentimes, so much bigger flowers. And if we look here, this, this uh, things in the Lamiaceae again, what we see here is this is the corolla. The corolla is the collective the collective petals. So all the petals fused together into corolla. We have these two petals up here for the upper lip and then three petals down here for the lower lip okay and then here these these persistent calyx uh, and the calyx are the collective sepals in the lamiaceae there are five there are five sepals and five petals so again two and then three two and three uh, and then the fruit are actually these schizocarps which are four-parted uh, and they're kind of tucked in there into the calyx, 
Uh, again, the collective sepals, they're, they're tucked in there and they break up in four parts. So they, the shizzle carp breaks up in um, four parts. So again, those that uh, petiolate, long petiolate um, leaves, especially down the stem, uh, the, the flowers are subtended, as you can see here, by the leaves. Um, and that's gonna, those are a couple things that can very quickly remove this from being in plexicollis and puts it in purpureum. See its habit here. It's a uh, not really prostrate. I think they, I think technically it's more decumbent. So it's uh, we go over here. It go. It just kind of flops over like that. You see, flops over. So and this can become an uh, kind of a frustrating weed in the yard. You know, with all the other weeds, cardamonine. Uh, you know, cardamonine hirsuta, which is also edible. Uh, I mean, look at this. See how it's kind of laying down there. And that's normal. Um, sometimes when you see it up against a wall, it's it's taller, but it comes comes in all different forms, I guess. Um, but most of the time, this is what you're going to see in your yard. And again, you can see that purplish uh, red top. There's more. And I think that this has been found in every county in Indiana. Um, so it's it's I got to look at a distribution map. I'll post a distribution map for the United States uh, so you can kind of see its range. Um, but at least in the Great Lakes region, the Midwest. Ohio, Illinois, Indiana, it's quite common yard weed. So cool, uh, purple dead nettle, purple dead nettle, lamium purpureum, lamium purpureum.